So I wanted to do a very short video on uh, lubricating your machine. Now this is an important step to do. From the factory, some items are lubricated, but others are not. The, the big ones that you need to lubricate on, on a regular basis are going to be the bed itself in these ways. You can just use a, a light machine oil, like a sewing machine oil. Put a few drops on there, and then just spread it around with your finger. Make sure also to get the sides here. The other ways you want to lubricate are underneath the slide here. They're a little bit harder to see. And then additionally, underneath the slide and underneath the bed are the two lead screws. Now, this, um, this particular brand and, and several that I've seen come with a very long, flexible tip, which does make it nice to be able to reach under the cross slide or to reach up underneath the and get some some lubrication on the the lead screw so this is kind of a, a nice way and then the plastic isn't going to damage or scratch anything in case you get a little carried away with it so other than the ways you want to make sure and lubricate the tailstock ram so this silver piece here extend it all the way out put some lubrication on it um, wipe it down with your finger so to get it spread around and then pull it back in and as you pull it back in some of it may drip off the end you do want to make sure that that the taper on the inside here stays dry you don't want to get that lubricated and then a less obvious spot that you want to lubricate are the hand wheels themselves um, in this case the the zero adjust hand wheels have a, a small hole what I do is I'll just put a, a drop of oil in that small hole. Got a little carried away there. And then rotate it around to spread it around. Initially, when these are new and dry, um, you'll want to do that two or three times. Just put a drop in there, spread it around, and you'll feel that these are, are moving much, much smoother then. Do that with uh, all three hand wheels on the lathe. And the last area on the lathe that does need lubrication is the chuck, um, whether it be the three jaw, such as this, or even the, the drill chuck. Um, you do want to put some lubrication there. You want to try to keep that lubrication away from the, the gripping edges. But other than that, um, what I typically do is I'll put a line of lubrication along each side of these jaws, let some of that soak down in, um, work them in and out. Also move them all the way in and put some small drops of lubrication in the grooves that the jaws engage on. Do that on all three spots. Then move them as far as you can out. Lubricate the inside grooves of the jaw. And then put a few drops around the outside and try to work them in uh, so that this spins more freely and smoothly. So you do not need to put any lubrication on the headstock spindle at all. Um, you want to try to keep lubrication off of the cross slide itself, the top of it, because the, the tool holder will try to grip there, and you want to let it do that. Um, those are really the main areas. You should do that every day after you're done. Do a quick clean off of the machine, and, and then lay some lubrication on it. You don't need to really drown the machine. If you end up with too much, uh, just wipe off the excess. There should still be a thin film left, um, even after you wipe off. You can lubricate the, the bed here between the ways, just to help protect the metal, um, but this isn't a bearing surface or a rub surface, so it's not super critical. Now with that done, we are ready to start doing some machining. We've gone through all the steps here, Talked about terminology, safety, alignment, accuracy of the lathe, um, some of the tooling that we're going to use, and then how to align that tooling. So I think we're ready to find some stock and begin doing some lathe operations.